Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing my autumn winter trends and how to wear them video and I've been dying to do this video and I asked you guys in another video recently if you wanted me to do this how many times am I going to say video? And you guys said yes, so. So the way I like to do these videos is by kind of chatting you through a handful of the trends and they're kind of ones that I've cherry picked in a way, like ones that I think are a bit, a bit more blah, 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 a bit more wearable for the everyday gal. Trends that you can incorporate into your wardrobe to try and make them a bit more relatable as well because that's how I try and work trends into my wardrobe. So anyway, <laughs> long um, intro aside, what I've done is I've picked out some items in my own wardrobe that I think fit into these trends and if I don't have any of the kind of trend items then I'm just gonna like put some pictures into the video showing you guys what I'm talking about um, then also I'm gonna do some cutaways of how I'd style each one I've written down a little list first on my list is red I feel like red's been around for the last year or so and I think over summer it was a bit more like red accessories were the main were well, the easiest way to incorporate them into your wardrobe. Now I feel like great ways to incorporate reds are with like a statement red coat, uh, like as your winter coat, or if you don't wanna go that far and like that bold with it. Something that I really want at the moment that I'm looking for is a, like a statement red uh, jumper, just a knitwear item, a jumper for my wardrobe. Such a versatile piece as well to work in with loads of different outfits, like even a crop jumper, a, a jumper dress. It's just a really easy way to incorporate some red into your wardrobe. So I'm gonna link down below some nice red pieces that I've picked out that I thought could be helpful for you guys as well. And if you still don't really wanna go too red with your wardrobe then I think or you, and go for accessories I don't have that many red pieces in my wardrobe at the moment but I do have these red shoes from Zara and I love these I love the tone of red that they are they're so easy to add into an outfit finish an outfit off with and they've got this uh, like ring pull detail as well. I'd say that's probably the color of this season. Also, I think blue, is it 40s blue? is supposed to be quite um, quite a trend color for this season. But for me, I think it'll be red. I think, because also red looks amazing with leopard print and I'm just obsessed with leopard print. <laughs> so the next major trend that you guys, I mean, you've probably seen this ever at the moment, but it's like oversized menswear, menswear workwear. But basically like a, a Czech print um, oversized blazer. I think it's Prince of Wales Czech. Um, I don't have a blazer just yet because I haven't found one that's good quality and a good price point, um, but I will link some down below. But this is the kind of Czech that I mean. I got these trousers from H&M and this is just exactly the kind of Czech print that I mean. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure there'll be a good um, blazer as well on H&M, I'll have a look. I think I got these on sale actually. So I say blazers, obviously it can be like a full suit you can wear or you could just go for the bottoms. Like with these, I'd love to wear these um, with a really chunky knit tucked in on top. These would also look great with a red jumper. I just, I need that red jumper in my wardrobe. This is such an easy trend to wear, especially if you're like me and you're not that into colour as much um, because you'll know what to pair with this kind of print quite easily. Oh my god, also a great place to look for this kind of print is actually in charity shops. I used to do so much thrifting, charity shopping, and I actually found a really good menswear blazer of this check. I remember thinking I should save it, and I think somewhere along the way of like moving houses and things, I've lost it. But I must have got that for about a tenner or something in a in a charity shop. So yeah, check out charity shops for this kind of thing because it is something that a lot of our grannies tend to wear. <laughs> this kind of check, and if you do it that way, you'll definitely find better quality. I think the next trend is something I love. I'm so, I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to <laughs> trends like this. Um, well, no, pieces like this. And it's sequins and like razzle dazzle. And a piece that I have to kind of just show you guys what I mean is this one from Topshop. And I think I got this last year. And this is one of those things that I saw, I think I got it on sale. And it's one of those things that I saw and I was like, that's gonna be something that comes in and out over the years, but I think it's gonna be such a handy thing to have for when it's in. And it is definitely in this autumn winter. Sequins is probably the easiest way to wear this trend. I have a few like sequin skirts that I love. I just can't, I can't get rid of them. There's something about sequins that is just, <laughs> makes me so happy when I look at it and when I feel it. You can get really lovely kind of 40s style dresses with sequins on or like shy with that, a uh, made with shiny material. You could smarten it up. You could wear a sequin skirt, skirt with a tee and a blazer on top. 
There are so many ways you can wear this trend. So the next one is 70s. And this is one that I don't, I don't feel like I have a lot of pieces of this trend, but like 70s prints um, and seven, like 70s floral prints and things like that. So I'll try and um, include a few things in the video and link some things down below. But oh my God, one thing I do actually love from this trend is are the like maxi like the winter maxi dresses that's another thing actually like winter florals so it doesn't have to look too 70s it can just be like a lovely winter florals darker tones more subtle tones um which can be much easier to wear actually i think this just looks stunning in winter like a bit of a heavier maxi dress and then layer on top with some like faux fur or some chunky like a chunky cardigan like a long line blazer oh mango i think do some lovely ones and i'm sure h&m must have some the next trend this is one thing that i'm this is i feel like there's always one thing in these videos that i'm a bit like worried to try out but this one is like the oversized bomber trend and I love, when I see this on the catwalk, I love it. I love how they style it with like a slinky kind of 40s looking dress and then they just drape over this huge bomber that's like falling off the shoulders. And I love how it looks, but because I'm quite short, I'm like 5'3", <laughs> whenever I've tried on um, this massive bomber, it just looks so weird on me. I think the only way I can pull it off is with like some heeled boots or some heels and something very slim line and then the bomber on top. I've seen a really cool blue one um, or mango in mango. Oh, there are loads all over the high street. Oh, I saw it. I've seen an amazing yellow one as well on, in Zara. They're everywhere. I'm sure Topshop do some lovely ones as well. Once you find the right one for you, like the right cut and maybe one that's not too puffy, I think they're quite an easy piece, piece to play around with because I would just keep whatever's underneath very simple and very sleek and, and probably quite long line so that you're balancing out the chunk on top with a longer bottom. My next one is probably my favorite look because you guys know what I'm like. I love like balancing out a big piece with a, just a totally different piece. I love juxtaposition um, and it's an oversized jumper with a skirt and kind of like a slinky I think they call it like a sweet skirt I actually wore this last winter as well I remember and yeah it's another one that's very easy to wear because you can just pick out things that you already have in your wardrobe you don't necessarily have to go out and buy pieces to wear this trend I've got our November Nights funnel neck jumper like I wore this last year with more of a slinky skirt um, such an easy piece to like just put with anything. We designed it to fall at a really nice place where you don't have to tuck it in but you can easily tuck it in and then there's not too much excess, excess material as well like hanging over whatever you're wearing on, bot on the bottom. And then I just, I just love a good like funnel neck. That's our NK jumper. If you don't want one with a, a high neck, then I also love this. This is the And Other Stories jumper. They still sell this this year. Um, and they actually do this jumper in loads of different colors now as well. I loved this last winter. I wore it all the time. It's very big on top and then you've got a really cute slinky bottom. I would just put with it some really cool chunky boots or like some simple loafers. Something that I actually forgot to write down on my list but I think like stompy boots are going to be quite a thing as well this autumn winter and I really want to get my hands on a pair. Um, I've seen quite a few girls as well recently like wearing docks again and um, I need to crack out my docks. I mean if you've followed me for years and years you know that I used to all I used to wear was docks, creepers, like just chunky boots all the time so yeah <laughs> that's something I think that's come around again this year. My last trend are kitten heels and these are around a lot this uh, just all this year actually kitten heels are something that I used to hate. Now I just think they're really cute. If you find the right design of them, like these are my Gani heels that I got and I love them. Um, but I've also seen recently a lot of knee high kitten heel boots. I'm not sure, like I need to try, <laughs> I need to try some of them on to see how they look on me. I've seen them, if you're into knee high boots, they have like a kitten veil, veil, <laughs> kitten veil version. <laughs> Kitten heel version. In case you guys wondered, my shirt is from Zara. Um, just tucked it into some jeans. Are my flies open? No. And my earrings are from ASOS. I love them so much. They're so pretty. 
Oh, also, obviously, statement earrings are still a thing. I'll link a few of my favourite statement earring picks below as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought. Also, let me know if you've got any other favourite trends uh, this for this autumn winter that I might have forgotten. Check out my vlog channel for kind of, I guess, the end of my daily vlogging this month. <laughs> well, not daily. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Check out my blog for more of my kind of daily outfits over there. I'm trying to post a lot more of my daily outfits on my Instagram as well and a kind of a lot more mirror pics and kind of taking it back to where it started um, in terms of like social media and just like sharing your outfits and things and I think you guys seem to like that. Please let me know down below. Do you prefer my Instagram pictures that are more like um, you know like professionally shot or do you prefer my like mirror pictures uh, like selfie sort of outfit pictures because That'd be so, so interesting to know. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this has given you some kind of inspiration for what to wear this autumn winter. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.